All right, we're coming into Memphis Liquor and Wine, everyone's favorite OCD store. I think what I'm going to do is just imagine that anything that seems like that might be buy something is going to be a good mixer, or maybe it's a mixed drink that we don't need to do. We'll play that game. All right, guys, let's get it going. All right, we're at Memphis Wine and Liquor. I'm going to start out with uh, a little bit of this uh, super cool uh, gift set here. I love that. That's nice. All right, we got uh, some scotch. Got the Glen Levitt. I uh, really want just kind of seeing what we got here going through. Got the Lagavulin, such a good bottle. And you know, you drink drink a little Lagavulin, the first thing that comes to mind is you think you want, you know what I need? I need me a little Jack Daniels. Got the Barrel Prue, got some Gentleman Jack. Oh yeah, I bet those two are great together if you put the Crown Royal and the uh, Gentleman Jack together. All right, we got through here. All this stuff must be making uh, Canadian Chris happy. So get a little reserve, get some of the Duke. Um, Company Distilling. I like the name Creek Water. I do like the bottle top there. I think that's kind of cool. I'm not seeing a whole lot of Doc Swinson's. That's cool that it's here. Uh, not tried any of the Oceans yet. They do have the bottled in Bond. Got the small batch. Got the, bait in the uh, Blade in the Bow. Got the Sweetness Co. Got some. Got the all the good mixers through here. And as we know, don't trust the bottle. It needs a belt to keep its label on. Got the Blue Note, which is great. Calumet. Gross. If I get a T, if, if I have, I'm thinking about having t-shirts made and I just put gross on it with my logo on the back or around it. Would, would anybody want that bottle? I mean, want that shirt? I wouldn't put the pot still on it because that would just be a gross shirt. All right, we got some Cooper's Craft. Oh, that is a fantastic price on so Cooper's Craft. Maybe gonna buy that today? Maybe, we'll see. Got a little bit of the, the air conditioning running over here. You may not be able to hear me or the refrigeration. I haven't seen, I don't think I've seen either one of these two. The Hubiki, oh, Canadian Club, that, that makes, I bet those are good together too, so. All right, we got the Bullet Coffee Cups. All right, we got Fireball, Jack Daniels, we got a little bit of the Dickel. Some of this Dickel I've not seen before. I'm gonna probably buy some Four Roses. I, I had I had a, one of my first times having a, like a good sit down and drink of it. I really enjoyed it. I gotta figure out exactly what I've gotten. So any, any, I need some Four Roses recommendations. So, all right, we got pretty bottle, Howler Head, scary bottle. It just seems like it would yell at me. And it seems like it would taste like bananas or it would be bananas to drink it. Love those bottles. We got the, uh, so we got some of the Elijah Craig and the Irish whiskey. Yeah, that, that tracks. All right, we got some Jameson. The peach, the salted caramel. I never did get any of this. I probably should have. Seismic Rye. More of this company distilling. Anybody know anything about it? Wow. 2XO. We have rarely, rarely, rarely ever see any of this out here. So that's pretty exciting. Got some of the Uncle Nearest. Uncle Nearest. And we got a little bit of the um, Buchanan's. All right. Let's, we'll dip down here a little bit more. So got some of the. Uh, Red label. Got some of this. Coopers. The Glen Marangi and the coffee. Yeah. I wonder if that's an interesting mix if anyone's had anything like that. And, you know, if anybody, anybody, you know, can tell me, um, you know, this is alphabetical or, um, or is it maybe these are just pairings? I think that's probably what it is. Irish honey. Beekeeper. That's interesting. I like that there's a gift set here. Dead Rabbit, Angel's Emmy. Oh, I was like, what is that? Oh, it's just Woodford Reserve Syrup. Got some Evan Williams, got a little of the Bottled and Bond. Uh, I don't, have not had a lot of the makers. I'm gonna need to, uh, I need to pick some up. I've been, been told that I need to do that. Oh, wow, Penelope Ar Architect. Jim Bean, Penelope Architect, Monkey Shoulder. I guess maybe they're gonna make a, uh, a Godfather or something like that. It's the Holen station. We see the two different bottles there. Uh, during during the C word, they had to go to these because they were having trouble getting bottles. Um, got the old Dominic. Got the Blacken. Got the Wheel Horse. And here is some 13 Colonies. And tell me if I should have got those. Got a little bit of the uh, Elvis and the Green River. Which Green River is basically Blue Note, a little bit different. Screwball, the Honey, 
Probably the only this we'll see today. And let's see here. We've got three cords coming up. I've not had any of that. We've got the Russells. We've got the broken barrel. Which the bottle looks amazing. We've got a fair amount of balcones here. Or balconies? Balcones? I'm not sure what they are. On this Heaven's Door, I uh, I had the double oak and it is fantastic. And we have a little more of the scotch and the whiskey and kind of slide over here and see what they got here. We do have um, the Lucky 7 here which is great. I'm really excited about seeing that over here. Alright, I'm going to come over here and take a look and uh, let's, uh, let's just try to see what they have on the top shelf here. I think this is more about storage than anything else. I see them up there hiding that uh, gross stuff up there. Right, let's see if there is anything interesting up there. I think that's just all overstock. Kind of the same thing down here on the bottom. I'm not seeing anything else that's over here that I would say is different or unique. They do have some lead slingers and they got Jamie Foxx's BSM. Carter and I do know they have a couple of specialty bottles or, or I would say not specialty but out some allocated stuff and I'll see if she will pull it down for me let's go over here and see um, oh wait I got more of the uh, flavored stuff that everyone is always clamoring for I swear I thought that was cheese dip I thought that said big cheese when I saw it from the other side but it's big orange I don't know that that's any better but we'll see. All right, let me go over here real quick and see the tequila wall. See if they have anything. Maybe there's some rum or scotch over here. Oh, there's something over here. So, all right, anything, anything jumping out at me that we think we need to try and see? I uh, will look. I'm not really seeing anything that I would say is any different than any other that we normally see. So, all right, well, I'll see. I think they have uh, two things over there that would make a great thumbnail, and you'll see the thumbnail, and we'll go and see what they've got. All right, well, guys, uh, I, I, I say this every time. Uh, uh, thank you for subscribing uh, if, uh, and liking the videos. When you hit that thumbs up, it just, it, it helps so much for what we're, you know, what we're doing. Now, I just met a, uh, uh, a subscriber he, he was walking in and he goes hey, yeah i saw your videos Irvin. hey it's a shout out to you uh i appreciate that and uh, when you go in your shop and you tell somebody that you've uh the store owner that you saw my video it just lets me shoot and you know i don't get anything extra except the ability to shoot so all right well let's see what the specialty stuff they got is all right well they definitely have some blantons here and they have some eagle rare which is fantastic so uh i they do have more kind of the higher end stuff they know to put their uh scotch and uh other stuff up there because uh you know it's uh good stuff so all right come check them out tell them you saw my video and they'll be like what